here's how to collect all intels on the Black Ops 6 Zombies map, Liberty Falls. There are 9 audio locks with fixed spawn locations, 4 documents that can be random but each is pretty clear on how to get it, and 5 artifacts that are all parts of side quests and the main easter egg. Also, every piece of intel contains a hint that helps you to identify missing ones. But now, without further ado, let's begin with the artifacts and the two required for the main easter egg. You need to build the jet gun which is our first artifact and is required for getting others as well. If you don't know how to build it, you can find my quick guide in the description. The next is the LTG device, part of the main easter egg and first you have to activate the machine in the Dark Eater church and then find 3 parts that you need to suck up using the jet gun. The first can be found right next to the balcony inside the church. The second one is inside the building above speed call and you have to stand on this bus to get this one and this one can be very tricky so I would recommend shooting at it from different directions if it gets stuck. And the last one is inside the ceiling of the comic book shop. Once you have all three parts bring them to the bank's rooftop to build the LTG device. The following two artifacts are part of a different side quest in which you have to find Mr. Pix's bowling shoes. There's one inside the gas station right after you jump down from the spoon. The next one is inside the hardware shop on this broken shelf. To get the next you have to go towards the church and look inside the groundskeeper house to find it under the armchair. Then go inside the graveyard and at the very back you will see them hanging on this tree. For the last one, go down towards the bowling alley and you will find it on top of a coffin inside this white house. And after this, you will not only receive the bowling shoes artifact, but you will also get teleported into a bowling minigame. Picking up the bowling ball gives you another artifact. By the way, if you score at least 300 points in this game by killing zombies, you will get an achievement and the Dark Ops calling card called Strike. For our last side easter egg and artifact, you will need the jet gun to suck up 9 Iterella figurines scattered around the map. The first four are inside the comic book store at these locations. The fifth is on top of this sign on the side of the motel. The next one is inside this window but you must be standing on this roof on Washington Avenue. To get the next use the zipline to the bank, drop down to the lower rooftop and it will be right across from you. The 8 is on top of the roof of Liberty Lanes and you have to jump on this bus to be able to suck it up. And the last and final one is on the church on the ledge of this window. Once you have all 9 collected you will turn into the Etherel trap, get the artifact and also get the world domination achievement. Now let's continue with the audio locks and the hint for the first one is Razor Eyes. This only spawns after completing the Etherel side quest and you can collect it inside the comic book shop. The hint for the second one is personal issues, which can be found inside the comic book shop as well. The hint for the third is street smarts and it's next to speed cola on top of this table. The fourth hint is grave matters and it can be found at the back of the graveyard. The fifth hint is catch the bus and the audio log is behind the bus next to the bowling alley. The sixth hint is pew pew and it's inside the dark eater church on the left side after you enter. The seventh hint is bank on it and for this one you have to open the vault to find it inside. If you don't know how to open the vault you can find my quick guide in the description. The 8th audio log is only available after activating the machine inside the Dark Eater church and it spawns next to the groundskeeper's house. And the 9th audio log is inside the motel room in which you can build the jet gun. Now let's move on to the documents. The hint for the first one is late returns and you only have to shoot these three books inside the fast forward bookshop. Now 
Next we have truncated and to get that one you have to find the black and yellow car on the map with Mr. Pig sitting in the back seat. Then you have to get a Magdor cannon and blow up the car to get the document. The next hint is direct deposit and all you have to do is to go inside the vault and use the keys dropped by Maglers to open the loot boxes. One will randomly have the intent inside. The last and final one is called pool list and to get it you have to open these white boxes in the comic shop and this is also randomized. Anyway this is pretty much it for this video. If you find it helpful please leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming intel guides and thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.